assembly instructions. Remove the plastic nut cap. Today! Can't erase the past. That's something I can't do. I can't do. I can't do. Welcome to another day guys. It's been a minute since I've actually picked up this camera for this vlog for personal reasons. I just was not in a good headspace to be vlogging and that happens especially during this process but as you can see there has been an update in my bedroom my dad was so kind enough to come over and set up my bed frame for me because i for sure couldn't do it he had a drill this bed is from wayfair it came defective so not all of the wood platforms that go across the bed to be set up some of them didn't have holes drilled in them so it came like that so he had to drill actual holes so that they can stay and then he put nails in them but we were short a nail for this one right now over here we were short a nail for this one right here so he already drilled a hole in it but we just got to get a nail for it i'm so out of breath it's kind of dark in here but don't want to cut my lights on child i don't know about that <laughs> the way my bills be set up but tonight I'm about to set up my mattress that I got from overstock it's literally 2 30 in the morning and I'm so tired I'm not sure why but ever since I started living here my sleep pattern has been so off I think it's because I've been sleeping on the floor and you know what's funny the mattress actually came yesterday and I could have already had it set up but I was so lazy and I was just like you know what at this point I've gotten so used to sleeping on the floor why not just spend an extra night <laughs> I mean, even though I'm technically sleeping on a deflated air mattress, I'm basically sleeping on the floor. But yeah, you know, I kind of just got used to it. So I was just like, hey, why not? If you hear noise in the background, I'm watching Degrassi. I'm binge watching it for like the third time. Marco's gay girl, cut it out. This is my school and I don't want to see you or talk to you again. This is my school and I don't want to see you or talk to you again. I hope I don't make too much noise because I don't know if I have neighbors downstairs, but. I need to drag this mattress. I feel so awkward standing in here with my room light on because I don't have any curtains and my window is wide open so everyone can see up in my house. That makes me uncomfortable. I'm gonna set you guys up somewhere so you can watch me do this. <laughs> Some type of way Ain't just a feeling this way I do not know what to say yeah, yeah. I've never had a 
memory foam mattress before. I've always had them cheap ass spring mattresses that are not good for my back because I have scoliosis, if you guys don't know. I've had scoliosis forever. My curve is like 15 degrees, so it was never anything that was like drastic enough for me to get surgery or at least under insurance. So, I mean, I could always get surgery for it to have my back completely straight, maybe one day. My previous back doctors have recommended for me to not be on those kind of mattresses. So having something soft and comfortable, and it's not too soft either. It's not like I'm sinking, but it's just firm enough for me to be comfortable, but also have like that soft feeling, if that makes sense. So I actually really like this. This was a, a good investment. Good job, Deshaun. Now I just have to find a box spring. I'll find one eventually because I want my bed to sit up just a little bit higher because you guys see how there's like a gap here. Yeah, I don't like that. This will just have to do for now. I have to get, you know, some things one at a time. Rome was not built in a day. Okay, y'all look. No, Dad, you're the one who screws up. It won't Ooh. Well, I think this is the part that his dad gets in a car accident. Yeah, he's about to get in an accident, and I think he's gonna die, if I remember correctly. I've watched this like three times. What am I talking about? I know what's gonna happen. But I need to prepare for my work day tomorrow, so that way I have the entire weekend to focus on more home stuff. I want to eventually set up this lamp over here that's in this corner that has just been chilling there. It's been chilling there this whole time because I didn't have tools. But since my dad came over here to set up my bed, he left behind some tools for me like a hammer, screwdrivers, all that stuff for me to get all that stuff done. I need to get a manicure that i haven't had a mani pedi in like months and i'd be damned if i gotta pay for that shit one more time somebody's son is paying for my mani pedi i don't know whose son but somebody's but on that note good night everybody i will see you tomorrow good morning everybody or at least afternoon <laughs> it's 12 30. i am going to be doing some errands today i have some things that i want to return to home goods these are some of the items that i bought in my last vlog when i went to home goods like the bath mats and stuff i don't really like this colorway and i decided to go with like black bath mats and like black accents in my bathroom so i'm going to be returning these as well as the shower caddy that i got because i found a bigger one at target and i just personally like that one better i'm also going to be taking the clothes that i've been meaning to take to plato's closet so that i can get you know some coin from that because i have a huge bag of stuff that is literally like ripping the bag i probably should get like another trash bag just so that i can put other stuff in there yeah my house is a mess i'm gonna be doing a clean with me for my moving vlog series when you move into your first place there are a lot of loose ends that need to be tied and addressed like there's just little things that aren't done remember when i told you guys that my blinds right here are stuck I actually have um, some new blinds coming in that my landlord ordered. My landlord also special ordered a door that's supposed to go for my AC unit right here um, because it's like a weird dimension that most places didn't have when she was renovating the place. That's gonna come on Monday too. And there's also not a screen on my window, which I realized, so I can't open my window because if I do, then there's bugs and stuff can come inside. So yeah, there's little upgrades like that that need to be done here. Oh, there's somebody at my door. One second. Thank you so much. Hi, welcome. You can place your bag up on the counter. Okay, thank you. Have you sold house before? Yes. I just need a phone number. Okay. All right, I just want to text that phone number with a link. I just need you to click on that link, put your first and last name, get the email and sign it for me. Okay. Um, It'll probably be about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Oh, this is different. Yeah, we switched to a mobile check-in. Yeah, I like this better. Yeah, all right, me too. All right, you were all checked in. Thank you. Text when it's finished. Okay, cool. You said 30 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, wow, that was quick. That was probably the quickest um, drop-off that I've ever done. So I guess we should probably just zip to home goods i'm so mad because i accidentally threw my receipt away so i have absolutely no idea where it is cashier, cashier number, number one please. i don't miss that sound i don't I actually used to work at a tj maxx home cashier goods number three, and please. that sound is, is a 
triggers my fight or flight response, actually. Excuse me, are you guys in line? Okay, thank you. No, you're fine. <laughs> Let me see. Lesson number one, when you're moving, make sure that you email yourself the receipt and not just print it because that could have came in handy and I don't think I emailed my receipt to myself. Good, how are you? I have a return. No, I just wanted to get something different. Um, can I make a return with like Apple Pay? Because I didn't um, use a card. Okay. I don't, so can I get store credit? Okay, that's fine. This is called a merchandise credit. It's re a return without receipt. So anytime mm -hmm. you use this, you have to show ID with it. And that's okay. how much is on the card. Oh, you have to show your ID every time you use it? Correct. Oh, that's different. Yeah, so it's to prevent fraud and that kind of stuff. So no, that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day now. You too. That's different. You have to show your ID whenever you get um, store credit. Or you have to show your ID whenever you use it. When I used to work here, you didn't have to do that. But that makes a lot of sense because people would kind of launder money and launder store credit and using other people's store credit that didn't belong to them. I'm just gonna look around to see if I can find like any other bath mats that I want. Okay, so I mean, they have like charcoal black, but I want like actual black black bath mats. I really like the micro dry because they feel very soft on your feet and they absorb water really well, but they don't have like actual like black, which that's what I want. Is this all that they have? They don't have like black bath mats. Wow, so I was looking at the towels and I don't think I came at a good time because these people ran through these towels. Look at, look at this, that's all, this is all that's left. This is all that's left. All of these are decorative towels and I don't want that. All of these are decorative towels. I just want plain white towels and they, they ate them up. I mean, I like these. These are nice actually. I actually really like these. These aren't bad. But I really want white towels. Well, this is unfortunate because I've looked around the bath area for like a good 15 20 minutes and I haven't found anything that I really like really want um, so I'm really settling on these towels they're actually not bad quality it's just I would prefer for them to be white you really got to get to home goods early on a Saturday because if you don't if you get here in the middle of the afternoon all the stuff is gonna be ran through looks like Plato's closet I think they just text me so my things might be ready so we're gonna check back there to see how much money I can get Yo, I'm so sorry I did not vlog that much while I was out. I was just bopping from one place to the next and it was just happening all so fast. But I'm finally back home and I have a bunch of stuff that I need to do. Y'all see how messy my room is? We're gonna fix that. So I'm gonna get started on filming my extreme clean with me. I strip my bed. I have like a whole bunch of clothes that I need to organized I have laundry I need to do I need to mop my floors I have to deep clean my jacuzzi tub which I haven't done yet if you don't know jacuzzi tubs have like jets you have to clean out those jets with a certain cleaner and so I actually special ordered one from Amazon so it's called oh yuck and my friend she actually put me onto this she was telling me that there were a whole bunch of people on TikTok that were using this and like a whole bunch of like nasty stuff was coming out of their jacuzzi tub so yeah i have a lot of work to do i wish i was able to film this earlier in the day because the sun's going down and i'm noticing a pet peeve of mine that i did not notice when i first moved into this place i don't have much lighting in here like at all i have two windows i have one large window in my room and then i have my patio doors in my living room that's it like i don't have any other source of natural lighting. So when the sun goes down around this time, like seven, it's very dim in here. And I also hate using lights during the day. Like that's a pet peeve of mine too. Like I just feel like you should have your windows open. I've always felt like that. I've always preferred natural light over artificial light. Like I only turn my lights on at night. And sometimes not even if that. Sometimes I'd be in the dark. <laughs> I'm just gonna do the best I can. Hopefully it turns out well and I will check in with you guys when I'm done cleaning because this is gonna take me a long time. Them niggas right there, your honor, right there, all gathered. I can hear them.
And they're, I guarantee you, they're gonna be out there all night, bro. They're gonna be out there till like 11 o'clock. Noises past 10 p.m. is a violation. Super, super annoying. Hi, hello. Welcome back to another day. It's been a while since I've actually picked up this camera for obvious reasons. I've been needing a break from vlogging, especially doing these weekly vlogs when I'm doing a whole lot of stuff. I wanna get you guys updated on everything that has been happening since I haven't been filming. Um, so today is Friday. Thank God my landlord sent the carpenter to come over here to install these new blinds because these were not here. I had no blinds. Everybody could see all up in my house. Everybody could see all my business. And I would never turn my light on in here because especially at night, you can see all in my house. And so I'm so glad that I have these now. These are very good quality blinds actually. So the contractor has to come back to install a screen for my window so that I can actually open up the window if I ever feel like it and there's no bugs that come in here. The girl that used to live here broke the window and whoever replaced it, replaced it with plexiglass and it looks super, super ghetto. The carpenter's gonna fix that soon, but they're ordering some additional parts. Also, I was told that my landlord's gonna replace the sink in here too. You guys can't see. This is one thing that I need to change. I'm gonna put like little LED circle lights underneath my cabinets, just because as you can see, there is no light in here. I have my patio door right here and this is the only natural lighting source for this entire living room area. And honestly, if you can't already tell, I sound exhausted, I'm tired. I just got off work. I was doing something for work and it took me 30 minutes over my time and I'm just ready to relax. I wanted to see Doctor Strange today. Oh, also, I forgot to mention this too, because we're gonna have a very fun weekend. My dad invited me to Hollywood Studios tomorrow because they have an extra ticket, and that will be good for the little vloggy vlog, so I'm gonna take y'all with me. But yeah, I'm excited about that. But I'm gonna go ahead and get everything together for what I need to do today. Before I forget, I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing today. So I have on these, Jeans that I got from Minimal. You guys have seen me wear these in my men's streetwear haul that I will link somewhere in the corner for y'all to check out. Um, but these are actually one of my favorite pair of jeans that I own. I like how they cut off right here at the bottom. It's fringed at the ankle and they're just super comfortable and super soft and they fit my waist extremely well. And it's very hard to find jeans like that because of my shape, because I'm so skinny in some areas. But I have on these jeans and then I also have on a plain black shirt that I got from Boohoo Man. And obviously I desperately need a fade. I need a haircut so bad. But I've been growing my hair out because since me bleaching my hair for all that time, I've been trying to nurture back my hair growth and my health. And I've been using this hair growth oil from the Hair Kitchen. You guys have seen me post about this before, but I swear by it, honestly I do, because it's actually helped a lot because my hair usually takes a long time to grow, but using the hair oil has definitely helped um, grow out some areas that has started to thin a little bit because of using harsh chemicals and bleach. It's not good for your hair, it thins out your hair especially when you're doing platinum blonde bleach. And I was bleaching my hair like two times in a week just to get it to a particular color and that's not good for my hair. But that is pretty much it for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything that I need to get together to run my errands for today. And I will check in with you guys in a bit. Good morning, today is Saturday. I'm on my way to Hollywood Studios with my dad, my stepmom, and I think my sister's coming, I don't know. I actually do not know who all was coming to this. But they invited me to Disney Hollywood Studios today. They had an extra ticket. So I thought, why not tag along? It would be great content for you guys. And I could really get out the house because I've just been cooped up in here, very busy, trying to get my place together. 
and you know, low key kind of depressing. I have some extra batteries charging right now on my desk. So hopefully maybe one or a couple of these are done by the time that they get here to pick me up because I need to have at least one more extra battery. I have one extra battery in my bag. When you be vlogging, you gotta be dedicated, you gotta be prepared, you gotta make sure you got your batteries on you. I've worn this set before. This is from Boohoo Man. I'm wearing my Ebony Wood fragrance. You guys, this is, everybody knows about this already. I'm not putting nobody on. This stuff smells really good. You can get it from Zara if you don't already know. But I have the roll-on version, which I don't think people really know that Zara has a roll-on for Ebony Wood. I feel like people just get the full size, but you can actually take this with you on the go. So I find it very convenient for myself. Well, it looks like they're outside. So I will go ahead and I will link up with y'all later at Disney. Push P. Yeah, push P. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. Uh -huh. Partners in the party gave my peace. Okay, so we finally stopped somewhere to eat. I forgot what restaurant this is called, but it's like the restaurant where there's like a whole bunch of different ABC shows. We're sitting at the Grey's Anatomy table. The shrimp tacos look good, but I don't know about the beans. I know. It's all right, what do you think, Dad? It's not bad. And spicy stuff. Yeah. We need to find like a snack kiosk or something. Yeah, uh, that was not filling. I did not like that. I want to eat something else. I wish we went to a different restaurant. Like the shrimp tacos were okay, but like the beans were looking dry. Where are we heading off to next? I got that. Um, I hope I got that too, and I hope they hurt. <laughs> okay, so I found a kiosk. So I'm currently in line to get me a little ice cream cookie. I want to get that one right there. Hi. Um, can I get the Mickey's ice cream sandwich? Um, that's pretty much it. I had accidentally paid for the people behind me and so they refunded my money and he let me have the ice cream sandwich for free. And that's good for me because that was like six bones. I finessed a free ice cream sandwich. How did you do that? Because I accidentally paid for the people behind me. Because he thought I was, he thought I had two waters and I was like, oh no, that's not mine. But he had already charged it to my Apple Pay. So he refunded me. He's like, okay, you can have this on me. Free 99. <laughs> So I'm just gonna do a voiceover for this part. So we went to Toy Story Land, which looked like an amazing place. However, all the rides had extremely long wait times. Like all of them had like two hour wait times. We were like, absolutely not. So then we went to Star Wars. Um, that place is aesthetically pleasing. I actually really like the set design everywhere that we went. Now I'm not a Star Wars fan, but I do have an appreciation for just the good time that we had while we were there. By the way, these guys were a trip. Like the stormtroopers, they kept pointing at people and be like, are you conspiring with the resistance? And I have no idea what that means. But um, yeah, overall, great place. This is the Millennium Falcon. This is a ride. So this is where we went. And the wait time was about 70 minutes. But when I tell you, you guys, this ride is definitely worth it. I had such a great time, which you're about to see in a few minutes after I'm done getting this really great shot here. You guys like that, how I edit that? That was really dope. Um, but yeah, this was like a 70 minute wait time. Even the lightning lane was long. Oh, you might need it. 
This is insane. Look at this, y'all. I feel like I'm in a TLC music video. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, oh. you are pulling that precious cargo. And it. as we always say here at the Naka Transport Solutions, Beth. get out of here and you're wearing dress. Of money. Star Wars fan to enjoy because I, I'd be the first one to tell you I've never seen a full Star Wars movie from start to finish so I don't really know much about the franchise but that ride right there that was really fun. After we were done with the Star Wars ride we went over to Hollywood Tower of Terror and I've always wanted to go on this ride ever since I heard of it when I was little and when I tell you this ride is extremely weird which you're about to see. <laughs> Jack 
Axel ni juga dia. discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension, beyond the deepest, darkest corner of your imagination. We, we are, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, it feels warm. So the last ride that we went on was the rock and roller coaster, which in my opinion is overhyped because I left with a headache and I did not enjoy this ride at all. I just thought it was too rough and I couldn't adjust my head so that it wasn't banging on the seat. And I didn't get good footage, but you're about to see me. <laughs> I'm about to fix that in a second. Um, I'm actually running a little bit behind. I'm supposed to be going to like this Mother's Day lunch that my dad is planning for my stepmom, my grandma, my nana. It was kind of last minute, but um, we're all going to this restaurant. I don't know what it's called. It was like 42 something, 20, 42 Doug. I don't know. So it was something, it's something with a number. It sounded like a nice place, but I'm just gonna do my skincare routine real quick, get dressed. And then, you know, we'll go on from there. I need to hurry up because I'm supposed to be ready in 19 minutes. So, first I'm going to be using, I mean, you guys have seen me use this before. This is the Bubble Skin Care Fresh Start Cleanser. So, this is drugstore. You can find this in Walmart. Really affordable. If you haven't seen my Bubble Skin Care review video, I'll put that above in a card. So, you guys can check that out. I hate rushing my skincare routine because this is something that I like to take my time with but I literally need to be ready in 15 minutes and I still haven't combed my hair or put any product in there and I look I look so crazy I need a haircut that's what I need now that I washed it off I'm gonna go in with the wild dew treatment essence from peach and lily you know what's funny I have just now started using my essence like a toner and I really love the results that I get from this you guys want to know a funny story I was talking to this guy for like a day, like I'm not joking, literally a day. And like whole FaceTime and everything, we literally talked for like a day. You know, we get to talking and he asked me, oh, what do you do? And normally I don't tell people about my YouTube channel, but like something in me, I don't know, something in me was like, this is not gonna be permanent. So I told him, I was like, yeah, you know, like I da 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 and I have a YouTube channel. He's like, oh, what's your channel? And so I, you know, gave him my channel. And he started watching my videos. And um, when we were FaceTiming, he was like, oh, I see you got your makeup on. And I was like, I don't wear makeup. <laughs> I, I, was, I was like, what are you talking about? I don't wear makeup. He's like, yeah, you do. Like, I, I saw the makeup videos on your channel. I was like, those are skin care videos, Negro. Those are not makeup videos. Ben, they hook. 
Like, what is wrong with you? So I'm gonna be using the Naturium Gel Cream, the Niacinamide Gel Cream. You guys have seen me post about this like 10,000 times. And lastly, I'm gonna be using my Istin Bougie Air Fatona SPF Sunscreen that costs like 50 something dollars, but. So another skincare tip, I always put SPF on my neck and behind my ears, on my ears as well. Just because from the neck up, this is gonna be exposed to the sun mostly. That's why my face is typically just a little bit darker than the rest of my body. So I make sure that when I'm doing my daytime skincare routine, I put the SPF not just on my face, but also on my neck, on my ears, behind my ears, anywhere that's above my shoulders. Let me go ahead and finish getting ready. Ooh, that's, oh, that's not my dad, that's my friend. Oh, my heart dropped. I'm like, oh my gosh. Let me hurry up and get ready and then I will meet up with y'all later. Ooh, I look pale. So I can show you guys my outfit. My dad's on the way here, so I don't have much time. Oh, I want to do like one of those outfit TikToks. Oh, but my phone's charging. Give me a second. Hold on. I got the shoes from ASOS too. The pants are from TJ Maxx. I got these like two years ago. This ring is from Cernucci. My watch is also from TJ Maxx. It's a Versace Versus. Um, I have on no necklace, no earrings because I can't find them. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and go downstairs and meet y'all at the restaurant. Yeah, so we gone. Huh? Stop. We good. Stop. Chill. We on yeah. scale, huh? let's go, let's go, Domingo, huh? let's go, Domingo. take, huh? let's go, huh? set, huh? let's roll. Hey. Straightening, 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 yeah, straight, straightening, 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 yeah. Straight. Don't not get straightened, but straightening. Hey. Don't not get straightened, but straightening. Don't not get straightened, but straightening. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Hello, <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Hello, Enoya. You know what's crazy? I literally said, I think we're gonna be eating outside when I was getting dressed. This place was reserved out probably days ago. She be tattooing herself. It was patio. My sister's a tattoo artist, but she don't know how to stop. That's like her 12th tattoo. I didn't want you inside anyway. In like two weeks. Tiny underscore M-Y-A-H. She's gonna need to get some clients. Uh, You've got yeah, clients? You got clients? I'm showing a house. Could we speak later? Uh, no. Yeah, what would you like? Can I have a sweet tea, please? Sweet tea, absolutely. Sweet tea, bring your fresh ones. Thank you. What is that? You got a thing. Everyone at this table has their flaws. I just have to be honest. I'm about to. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, it ain't gonna be like McDonald's sweet tea. It ain't gonna be like <laughs> no, Oma's. No, I'll be making good sweet tea at work. It ain't gonna be like Granny sweet tea. You think they can um, add like a pack of sugar to that? No, it's, it's already cold. <laughs> <laughs> or something. <laughs> it's sweet tea, though. Then somebody order sweet tea. She did, and it's not. It's not sweet. It's not up to water. our standards. It's oh, not I up mean. to King's standards. It ain't diabetes. It's not. <laughs> Like your uncle Jelly says, sugar water. Sugar water, exactly. <laughs> That's the only way that I take some tea. Oh, you know what I forgot? I need to get a cup of hot water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That... Where do we go? Cheesecake factory. Cheesecake factory. I still, everywhere I go, I always get a cup of hot water for my utensils. <laughs> they look clean. Too. These are the cleanest utensils I've seen. Yeah, they <laughs> in look restaurant. like they've been steamed twice. So yeah, like they let it marinate in hot water. When you eat out at these kind of places, you have to have your in napkin. your lap. I mean, in your lap. I do that everywhere yeah. I go. Right. Okay, so this is Thank what I you. got. I got the asparagus with potatoes and the well done grilled salmon. This looks so good. Grab my roses and run. <laughs> After I put on my Tyra Banks. <laughs> Your Tyra Banks? <laughs> now that I have wood floors, just walking around in shoes, period, makes so much noise. But I am finally home from dinner or lunch, that was lunch. So the kind of restaurant that Seasons 52 is, their menu changes each season, hence the name Season 52, which I think is 
clever. So apparently like they'll have a set menu and then let's say the spring salmon is going to be a little bit different than the winter salmon or the summer salmon etc. I think that's how it works but they alter their menu every season which I think is pretty cool because if you've been to a restaurant countless times like oh I had that already oh I had this the last time I was here you can't really say that you know they kind of keep you on your toes which I like so I definitely want to go back again. Uh, my agenda for the rest of the day since it's Sunday and it's usually like my Sunday reset day. I'm still trying to find like a Sunday routine for myself. So that's why I haven't filmed a Sunday reset video. I do want to film one soon, but I'm missing quite a few things. But right now, I want to set up, I would show you guys my room right now, but it's a little bit of a mess. I want to set up my lamp. It's just been chilling here in the corner. I opened the package and I just let it sit there for like weeks, but I'm actually going to build it today because now I have screwdrivers and stuff and like tools that I need to actually build this. So I'm going to set this up because I'm tired of being in the dark. <laughs> And I finally got my TV out of storage. But with the way that my room is set up, I would have to mount it up here. So, um, and of course y'all know I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> do I look like Bob the Builder to you? No. My goal today is just to clean up a bit. Um, I do have a video too that I need to edit. I also have a contract that I need to sign because guess who got their first sponsorship, y'all? We finally got a sponsorship on the channel, finally. And you know what? Here's the thing though, because you guys know I've talked about this before. A lot of these brands, they've been hitting me up, leading me on, or putting weird things in the contract that they think I don't know about, that I do know about, trying to finesse me. I finally got a sponsorship that is simple. They respected my rate. They didn't try to add no, no nothing silly in the contract. It goes to show the right deal will come. Like the right sponsorship will always come as long as you pray for it, you don't think about it too much. Like I don't think about sponsorships like that at all. Like of course they're a goal of mine having this channel. Of course I want to work with brands, network with brands, be on PR lists, get sponsorships, etc. But I'm not gonna break my neck doing so. Like, they're going to come. And so that's why I just, you know, that's the law of attraction. I, I respect that. All the products that I always recommend to you guys that I have linked in the description in every video, clicking those links, buying the products, those are the kind of things that brands see and that's what they like. And they'll reach out to me and they'll wanna work with me because they see that I have a support base that trusts my recommendations and engages with me well. So I really appreciate everyone, if you've ever bought products from me before because of my recommendations, if you've just ever, I don't know, just, just for supporting me, I really, really appreciate it because, you know, of course this sponsorship is the first of many. You know, this is the first of many. I'm gonna remember this for the rest of my YouTube career, my influencing career, whatever. Um, you know, this is great. This is a really great feeling. So thank you guys so much. And I'm so excited for you guys to actually see what it is. I don't wanna talk about it until I actually post it because I don't know when I'll actually post this vlog. If it will go up before the sponsorship or after I post the video. But yeah, so that's everything that I've been kind of working on within the past couple of days that I wasn't filming this weekly vlog. I probably shouldn't lay in my bed in my outside clothes, but my bed is stripped down now because I'm washing things today too. I'm also going to be doing laundry. That's another thing on my list. Let me go ahead, take these clothes off, and then I'm going to prop you guys up so you can watch me set up my lamp. <laughs> Hopefully that's not too hard. Okay. So I have this stuff here. Um, all of my parts are in this bag. And where are the instructions? Oh, does this not come with a light bulb? Girl. Uh. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, I think I do have, or did I throw them away? When I moved in here, I had light bulbs from the bathroom that I replaced, but I think I threw those away. They were warm lights and I replaced them with white lights. Gosh. Now this looks pretty confusing because everything is connected with like these strings. And where are the instructions? Oh, here they are, okay. Found the instructions. So let's see. 
assembly instructions. Remove the plastic nut cap. Judy! And plastic socket ring. What is, what are these words? You guys, this is confusing. This is, this is very confusing. My love languages, acts of service and receiving gifts. So needless to say, I love it when people do things for me. I do not like doing stuff like this myself. I'm just gonna unwrap everything just so I can feel like I'm getting somewhere. And then maybe I'll feel better. <sighs> I got a little bit distracted because I got on a phone call and then it started getting dark. So I just turned my room light on. I actually hate these lights up here. So what I'm gonna do because the lamp didn't come with a light bulb. So I'm gonna take one of those out and put it into my lamp because I don't wanna use this light. I think I figured it out because at first it was kind of confusing because I had to run this cord through all of the wooded panels. So I had to condense the cord, if that makes sense. And I didn't show myself recording that because it just took me way too long and I didn't want to use up too much space on my memory card. I got the hard part out of the way. I feel like that was the hard part. And I really didn't need to rely on the instructions for that much. I kind of just looked at the labels and like the letters. I'm gonna set you guys up on my bigger tripod so I can speed this up and you know put some cool music over it because y'all like that. And uh, yeah, so let's see how this comes out. Charlie Curious, you say you're curious, oh no. Charlie Curious. I'm so exhausted. I'm completely done building this lamp. This is the final product. I'm super proud of it because I took about two and a half, damn near three hours to build this. Y'all know I'm not Bob the Builder. I'm not Handy Manny. I'm not nail one of them folks. But on a scale of like one to 10 compared to other things that I've had to put together, I would say this would be like a good seven. I would say the only thing that kind of pissed me off was the actual lampshade. Like there's like Velcro wiring around the edges of this. So so in order for this to be like a perfect cube, I had to like crease it in a particular way. And for some reason, it just wouldn't balance on top of this thing. But I finally got it to stay 
that was my only thing. It was super frustrating. I spent like a good 30, 45 minutes just on the lampshade itself. But everything else, once I put together the legs and everything, it was pretty easy. But now that I'm looking at this in my room, I kind of want two of these. And this is what I was telling myself when I was in Target when I bought this. Um, if you guys don't know, I actually bought this from Target. I vlogged that. And I'll actually link this below in the description if you guys are interested in this. It's actually really affordable. It's only like 60 bones. They come in this nude wood pattern pattern and there is also black and I almost got the black because my aesthetic in my home is going to be like nude with black accents so I wasn't sure if I wanted the lamps to be the accents or you know other things that I put in here. I need to get new sheets and everything and I'm also possibly going to do a DIY project on my headboard to change it to a different color but I'm going to do more research on that because I was looking at some TikToks that my friend sent me and I'm inspired. So I don't know if I want to turn that black or make it like a lighter nude, but I haven't decided yet. Now that it's at the center of the room, shouldn't it be like two on both sides? By the way, there's no drawers in my dresser. <laughs> I have to put them in there, um, but I have to like put them together. I still have a lot of work to do in here and it's taking me forever. Oh, and I also was thinking about getting some window treatments to go up here and have like a taller, like if I were to put curtain rods all the way up here and have like curtains hanging down, it would make the room look taller and more modern, which is what I want. So I'm also planning on doing that too. Also, look what else I did. I feel like more people should be doing this, but I don't like cords. So what I did was I tied it up and I got one of those, um, what do you call those things that you put around the bread to close it? So I actually found the black one and I tied it around the cords just so that it's neatly put into the corner and it's not just like messily. But that is pretty much it for right now. I'm gonna put my pillows on here. I'm gonna do my skincare routine and go to BED. But I guess on the bright side, I found like a new video. I Well, I wouldn't say new because I've done a video like this before, but I have like a video idea that I feel like will benefit my channel so much. And I feel like you guys would like it too, or maybe some of you, but I don't wanna spoil it. But I'm gonna be working on a video this week, two videos, just so that I can like post more and get back to posting twice a week. That is pretty much it for right now. I'm super tired, I've had a long day. So I'm gonna relax, do my skincare routine, go to BED and I'll see you guys later. Good morning y'all, I forgot to film an outro so I just wanted to hop on here and say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on those post notifications so you don't miss out on any videos that I post and I will see y'all in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.